when she's spinning me around. Kissing is a color, a loving is a wild dog. She's got the look. 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 What in the world can make a brown eyed girl turn blue? When everything I'll ever do, I do for you. And I go la 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 la. She's got the look. Today, my name is James Tulander with Total Finishing Solutions and Total Finishing Supplies. And today, I am here with our lead nationwide technician, Tony Wenz. A lot of you guys out there have met Tony. He's here today with me, and we're going to actually assemble a CA Technologies 14 to 1 pump paired with the Wagner Industrial GM 4700 gun. It's the TFS private label setup. We are now going to start and install this pump. Step one. Take pump and gun out of the box. This is the pump on a stand straight out of the box. So you can see it already comes installed on the stand with two wheels. Very compact, pretty easy setup here. Also comes with the GM 4700 gun, some oil lubricant or throat seal lubricant, a 25 foot fluid and air hose with an industrial web coating, which is very nice. And you also get the Wagner GM 4700 red air cap along with the 13 slash 40 wagner industrial double-sided tip as you can see we have the air inlet fluid pressure atomizing air we got the fluid outlet and then we have our two sensors this is for atomizing air and this is for the fluid pressure We'll review further in detail what our recommended settings are here shortly. The first thing we're gonna do is on the air inlet, we're gonna go ahead and tape that up real nice so we can get a nice seal. Just wanna cover the air and fluid hoses as we've had confusion in the past because they do have the same sized fittings. What we're gonna do is first hook up the air hose to the atomizing air input. And you'll notice the shorter ends that are more confined will be hooked up to your gun. So again, the blue hose is the atomizing air and the yellow hose is your fluid hose. What you wanna do here is get these pretty snug and then give it an extra quarter inch turn. So these are gonna be pretty tight. So now that the fluid and airline is connected, we are gonna connect the other two ends to the GM 4700 gun. Blue atomizing airline goes to the back of the gun. The yellow fluid line will go to the front of the gun where you can see the filter is housed. We will make these fittings snug and then give it an extra quarter turn. The suction rod comes already assembled However, you just want to verify that it is tight. In this case, it came just like this, perfect, ready to go. Next thing you're going to do is get the tip that comes with your setup out. As you can see, it is a reversible tip so that you can easily take the tip out, flip it over, and then spray some coatings out through the tip so that you can easily unclog the tip. You will then take the tip, turn it back over, and continue to spray. We'll now insert the red air cap and tip into the holder. And now it's ready to be screwed onto the gun. You'll then go ahead and hook up your compressed air. The GM 4700 comes naturally installed with this black screw, but it also comes with the gray. The gray is gonna be for PSI under 2,320, but you also get the advantage if you're spraying all day of a softer gun handle. With the black, if you're using higher pressure, you'll wanna have this on the gun, but it will give you a harder gun trigger. The amazing part of this gun is the toolless maintenance in this case you can see we are unscrewing the handle which below this has the actual filter to the gun 
We actually have several different meshes, depending upon what you are spraying. The material will actually come inside this filter. It is very easy to remove and to clean. It can be used over and over and over again. Um, and a pack of 10 of these costs 30 bucks. You'll want to ensure when reinserting the filter that the open end goes towards the bottom of the gun. As you can see in the gun, we have a tip seal and a gasket. They're made of a hard plastic. The only times that these are gonna to need to be replaced is if you accidentally drop the gun and break them. Another amazing thing about this gun is the swivels at the end of the hoses that attach to the gun. This allows you to move freely in a 360 degree circle or angle while painting. It gives you a lot more mobility. For support, spare parts for the CA Technologies 14 to 1 pump and the Wagner GM 4700 gun, you can go to totalfinishingsupplies.com. You can get there a couple different ways. You can click the search button on the top right hand corner and in this case type in GM4700 and you will get results relating to that gun. So if you scroll down you can see the gun right here. On this page you can get the owner's manual and you can get any necessary parts or accessories and a link to the tips. Here you can see that you have the Wagner seal tip, Wagner nozzle gasket, air assisted tip, the double orifice tip, cage filter, repair kit, red and blue cap. Of course, the blue cap is an additional cap that you can buy for thicker viscosity coatings.